Well, here we go. It's Mac time again on the way to a championship. And we are at the Perry Dog Show, day three, and we're back in the ring. So excited for our little Macadoodles. He has been able to get two five-point majors. So today will be the deciding day to see if Mac becomes a champ. That's stunning. Here we go. She's going to send them around together for the last time, make her decision. And I thought she was going to go for the front dog, but she went for Mac. <laughs> so we just won our class, which is awesome. Now we're going in for points. So the gal that's in there currently, uh, she won her class. Uh, she was the only dog in it, and then uh, we won our class, which was the open dog class. So she's going to send us around again, and let's see what the outcome of this is going to be. So here she goes, and we got it.
so the road to a championship is a long one, or it can be. Uh, but when you have a breed as smart as the standard schnauzer, you're able to accomplish things that you wouldn't ordinarily be able to accomplish. This guy went from loving on a judge to standing absolutely still and perfect uh, to be the perfect picture of the breed uh, for a judge to examine at only his fourth show. Here we go at his first show. Um, from just acting like a wild maniac, <laughs> sitting and jumping and loving and just being silly as can be, to the absolute perfect specimen of the breed standard. Um, smart and nice and calm and now he's going to show his teeth to the judge perfectly uh, so that she can check everything out on him. and. Um, that was only accomplished in four short shows. A lot of hard work goes on beyond the scenes, though. So, from the only standard schnauzer to ever win Westminster's Best in Show, Paw, to today's new champion, Schutzengill Macchiato di Milano, Max got a lot of good lineage behind him. Thanks for coming along for the ride.